This sound file contains the spoken version of a Wikipedia article on Vibribbon. The material recorded is current as of the 27th of March 2021. Vibribbon from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia, at en.wikipedia.org. Vibribbon is a rhythm video game developed by Nana Onsha and published by Sony Computer Entertainment. It was released for the PlayStation in Japan on December 12, 1999, and in Europe on September 1, 2000. Although the original PlayStation version was never released in North America, the game was re-released on PlayStation Network in North America in 2014. The game was unique in that the software loaded into RAM, letting the player use any music CD to play against. The game could generate a unique level from any track. The graphics for Vibribbon are simple, consisting of straight white vector lines forming crude angular drawings of the level and the player character, named Vibri. Contents This article contains seven sections. They are as follows. 1. Gameplay 2. Development 3. Reception 4. Sequels and re-release. 5. Notes. 6. References. 7. External links. The article has been provided with an information box containing material of interest to the reader. The information box has the following information. At the beginning is an image. The image is a screenshot of the official PAL region Vibribbon box art. Below the image, the following information is provided. Developer, Nana Onsha. Publisher, Sony Computer Entertainment. Producer, Masaya Matsura. Programmers, John Belmont, Anthony Chiarico, Yuki Takahashi. Platforms, PlayStation, PlayStation 3, PlayStation Portable. PlayStation Vita. Released on PlayStation in Japan, December 12, 1999. In Europe, September 1, 2000. Released on PlayStation Network in North America on October 7, 2014. In Japan, October 8, 2014. And in Europe on October 15, 2014. Genre, Rhythm. Mode, single player. That concludes the information from the info box. Section 1. Gameplay. This section is accompanied by an image. The image is a screenshot with the caption, an in-game screenshot, where player character Vibri runs through a loop, one of the game's basic obstacles. Vibribbon is a rhythm game in which players guide the main character, Vibri, across a line filled with obstacles tied in correspondence to the beat of the song. There are four basic obstacles, block, loop, wave, and pit, which require players to press the L, R, X, or down buttons respectively at the right time to navigate. Sometimes two obstacles will be merged, requiring the player to press two buttons at the same time. For example, a block and a pit combination will require players to press L and down together. Not pushing a button at the right time turns Vibri into a scribbled version of herself temporarily. Getting hit by obstacles too many times will degenerate Vibri from a rabbit into a frog, followed by a worm. Successful actions will help Vibri recover back to her higher forms and clearing enough obstacles in succession while in the rabbit form, will evolve Vibri into Queen Vibri, increasing the player's score until Vibri is hit. The player's score is tallied via symbols during gameplay, which is then converted into points at the end of the run, during which bonus points may also be rewarded. Earning a high score will cause Vibri to sing a congratulatory song based on their position. The base game features six songs, performed by an unaccredited Japanese singer, which are divided up into bronze, silver and gold courses, K1, 
containing two songs each. Additionally, players can generate levels using songs from music CDs, with difficulty varying depending on the intensity of the music. The soundtrack, according to Masaya Matsura, was provided by a band called Laugh and Peace with vocals by Yoko Fujita. Working with the band, Matsura wanted a soundtrack that would encourage players to use their own music CDs. Reluctance to associate the game with any one music genre was a big part of why the game's visuals are so colour neutral and simple. Section 2 Development the game was initially commissioned as an advertisement for the Mercedes-Benz A-Class car. After design issues surfaced with the car and the ad plan was dropped, development continued as a standalone game. Nana Onsha followed the Parappa the Rapper success with Vibribbon. As rhythm games relied increasingly on custom controllers, Vibribbon stuck to Nana Onsha's roots with a console game using a standard controller. Unlike Parappa, Vibribbon included several licensed tracks from the popular group Laugh and Peace. The music selection was limited by the game's budget. The solution was to let the player insert any audio CD and Vibribbon would build the gameplay around any track of music. This meant the entire game, including art, must fit within the PlayStation's extremely limited memory. Vibribbon, therefore, relied on simple, near-monochrome vector graphics. Its primitive graphics made it difficult to sell, and the producers decided against bringing it to the Western game market. The main character, a wireframe rabbit named Vibri, travelled along a simple level from the left to the right. There were four basic obstacles, each of which could be overcome by pressing one of the four usable action buttons on the controller. Difficult levels included advanced obstacles, formed by combining two basic obstacles and defeated with two simultaneous buttons. Section 3 Section 3 Reception GameFan gave the game a score of 94 out of 100. Technology tells Jenny Lada was impressed with the minimalist graphics of the game. She also called it, quote, refreshingly difficult and praised the entire concept for the game. However, she also said that, quote, when I'd press the shoulder buttons up or X on the Vita in time with the music, it fell perfectly in time with the beat. When I headed over to the PS3, I was sure I was one with the rhythm but Vibri invariably turned into the slug. There's some kind of discrepancy, and one has to adjust their timing to compensate. Hardcore gamers Marcus Estrada called the game, quote, cruel when playing on the highest difficulty. He called the stages generated using CDs, quote, ridiculous, and said that, quote, a fair bit of tracks from a variety of genres, I tested rock, pop and rap also make levels do weird things with tempo, end quote. Despite of his criticism, he liked the game and said that it deserved a second chance. At this point, the written article on Vibribbon has a table with the title Review Scores. The table displays the review score ratings Vibribbon managed to achieve from several publications. The review scores are given in the following sequence publication and score. The statistics are as follows. GameFan, 94 out of 100. GameSpot, 7 out of 10. Hardcore Gamer, 3.5 out of 5. OPM UK, 7 out of 10. Technology Tell, B. This concludes the statistics from the table. Section 4. Sequels and Re-Release The game spawned two sequels, Mojibribbon, which focused around rap music and calligraphy, and Vibripple, which was similar to Vibribbon, but instead used digital images loaded into the game to generate the levels. 
Both were released in Japan for the PlayStation 2. Game creator Masaya Matsura has stated interest in working on Vibribbon again, either through a sequel or a remake, and showed interest in downloadable services. When quizzed about the possibility of bringing Vibribbon to other consoles, Matsura said he could buy it from Sony. When asked about the possibility of a port for PlayStation 3, Matsura said, quote, We are discussing the possibility of making a downloadable version of Vibribbon for Sony, but I don't know yet. Sony only recently launched their downloadable service in Japan, so maybe we need to wait a while before releasing a title with that kind of appeal. End quote. In 2012, the game was acquired by the Museum of Modern Art as part of its permanent collection of video games. At E3 2014, Vibribbon was singled out by Sean Layden, then the new CEO of Sony Computer Entertainment of America. Layden did not realise that the game had, at that point, never been released in America, and many on the internet saw the mention of the game hinting at a North American release, despite the company having no plans to do so. As such, many people on Twitter became displeased when there was no further mention of the game during the press conference. When Layden realised his mistake, he asked his team to work on perfecting a North American port for PlayStation Network. The port was released in 2014, with Layden writing an apology for the confusion on the PlayStation blog. In 2020, the game was celebrated among numerous other PlayStation franchises in the PlayStation 5 game Astro's Playroom. Section 5. Notes. The article is accompanied by a single note. This shows the game's title written in its original Japanese katakana script, along with the Hepburn romanization. Section 6. References. There are references available in the written form of this article. Please be sure to verify information found on Wikipedia using the references provided or by cross-referencing the information yourself. Section 7. External links. In addition to the aforementioned references, this article also contains a single external link to an archived version of the official Vibribbon website. We now come to the end of the spoken article Vibribbon. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike 3.0 Unported License. Available at creativecommons.org slash licenses slash by hyphen sa slash 3.0.